Hey, most amazing top 10 family. We're recording from the house again. As you can see, I'm also wearing a toque again. I'm probably gonna be wearing it every day because I can't get a haircut right now. My hair is growing out of control. Well, I mean, that's the situation we're living in. There are much worse things going on than not being able to get a haircut. So I shouldn't complain at all. But that's not why you guys are here today. You're not here to hear me talk about my haircut. What does your dream home look like? Where do you want to build it? Do you want to move into a nice little neighborhood with a good school and great people somewhere that has a great backyard and your dog can run around and live the life that it wants to live? Or do you want to build something that is hanging over the ocean like Tony Stark's house before it gets blown up in Iron Man 3? Well, if a part of you are the latter group, then this video is going to give you some inspiration because I am bringing you top 10 scary houses hanging off of cliffs. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And stick around for the whole list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs, which you guys love so much. If you guys want me to shout out your pet, then you can hit me up on Instagram. Instagram, and without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the Australian Barnacle. Yeah, that was the inspiration for this home, a barnacle. It's not the first thing that comes to mind when I'm thinking of houses. I think of things that are on the ground and easy to get into. But these guys had a whole different idea of how a house should be built. The house was designed by a company called Modscape, and they said that they wanted to build something that was in response to people in Australia wanting to live in the extreme parcels of the coastal land. Well, is this extreme enough for you? I don't think I could sleep well in a place like this. The feeling of dread would never leave my body. I mean, the view is amazing. You would see the crashing ocean all day and probably schools of sharks. You would be so far away from the city that the night sky would look amazing and everyone would look at your house thinking you're some sort of super cool villain. Not to mention, this cliff house probably is the biggest flex of all time. You build something like this so you can let everyone know, hey, I'm super rich and you guys need to know that I'm super rich. But if just the smallest earthquake hit, it would shake that house right into the ocean and you would be gone forever. At number nine, we have Holman House, Australia. This abstract house was built into the side of a cliff and was inspired by the abstract artist Picasso. That's where you really want to get your inspiration from when you're building a home on the side of a cliff. Someone who would put noses where eyes are and mouths where eyes are and mix them all up. It was just the eyes. The eyes always went where the eyes were supposed to go. The home was built back in 2004 and it sits on the side of a 70 meter cliff. That's 220 29 feet. Hopefully all of the Picasso shaped beams are still holding this thing in place and it can stop it from tumbling into the ocean. And number eight, we have Dig In. Maybe you don't want to build a house on the side of a cliff, but you want to dig a hole right into the cliff and actually live inside the earth. Well, if you have the money to do it, you can do whatever you want. This house was built by the Dutch architecture firm Lav, and I'm on the same page with you when I say I have never heard of them before this. They built some pretty extreme homes like this one that looks over the GNC. Now just look at the concept picture of this house. The house hasn't been built yet, but it's currently in the works. You have a swimming pool that is on top of everything else down below. At any point, if someone looks up, they're gonna see right up your trunks, and then they're gonna leave your home and never ever wanna come back. At number seven, we have Lav Strikes Again. I figured if we just did one by them, why not another concept project by Lav? I went from having no idea what this company is to looking through their whole catalog like I could actually afford one of their homes. The next home is set to overlook the ocean is located located in the Sagres Pomontari in Portugal. This time they were going for a little bit different of a design. See the little square up in the corner? Well, that's the actual house that you live in. And then the pool hangs over the cliff. So you don't have the pool over everything so everyone can look up your board shorts. No, the pool is hanging off the side of a cliff like a couple trying to get the best Instagram shot ever. It looks like it's going to snap off and fall into the ocean. And I mean, I know it won't. It was designed by Laf, which is my all time favorite architecture firm. But if you're in your own pool on the side of a cliff and then it falls into the ocean, and then you die? Well, you were living a good life and you should be happy you died. That's like a cool way to die and it's a very rich way to die. And number six, we have just two pegs. Now I have no idea how you build a home. I probably will never have this knowledge unless I go through a massive career change or the apocalypse comes in and I have to learn out of necessity. But just looking at this home makes me feel like there should be more holding it up. Look at that. It's just there. There's just two poles stopping this whole house from falling off the side of a mountain. This place was built in Nagano, Japan and was cemented right into the side of the Yagustaktik mountain. And number five, we have just one this time. 
If two pigs was too many for you, then how about just one? This next place is one of the most famous homes in Australia. If you're from there or you have visited there, you have probably heard of the Pole House. This place is slapped right into the side of a hilltop and it runs along the Far Haven Beach. This is part of one of the most beautiful areas in Australia and it is known as the Ocean Row. There are some of the most amazing houses built along this hillside and this home might be the most amazing of all of them. It sits atop a 15 meter pole. That's about 50 feet for all our American viewers. That's all that's holding this entire home in the air, just some steel and concrete. I don't know if that's where I would be booking my Airbnb, if Airbnb is still even a thing after this virus stuff is over. At number four, we have the Cliff House in Nova Scotia. A little piece of Canada I am sending your way. Did you ever want to live in a secluded home that looks like it could tumble into the ocean at any minute? A home that is tucked away in Nova Scotia, Canada and has an amazing view of the ocean despite looking like it's going to fall at all times. Well, that's a very strange and specific list of requirements for a home, but I have the perfect place for you. The house was built by the architecture firm McKay Lion Sweet Apple. It's a minimalist design with a luxurious open concept interior. Listen to me talking like I actually know anything about houses. I don't, I don't actually know anything about houses. And number three, we have Casa Once Mujeres. Now this one might be a little confusing to you guys because it's not the most extreme home. It's not built into the side of a cliff that's 200 meters in the air. Casa Once Mujeres stands on the side of a cliff about 140 kilometers outside of Santiago, Chile. It is a gorgeous home with an incredible view. I mean, it's just looking right into the ocean, but the reason why I put it on this list is because of this balcony right here. Wait, what? There's no railing, no glass to keep people in. It's just a ledge. It looks like something you would step out onto when you're going to walk the plank in a pirate movie. I would never step out onto that ledge in my life. It's the perfect crime. You rent this beautiful home for vacation, then your spouse steps out on the ledge, and then they push you off the ledge, and they walk away with your millions that you left behind for them in your will. See? Perfect crime. Not that I'm planning on doing that. At number two, we have Shadow Cliff House. Okay, this house has the coolest name so far. Shadow Cliff House sounds like a place the Batman family has a massive party after they save the world. I feel like there should be a secret elevator in there that goes into the side of the cliff into a layer that's filled with money, cars, and every season of Seinfeld on Blu-ray. Just look at this place. How could you not feel like a secret agent sitting in that chair overlooking the entire forest, probably seeing down to the waterfront? The home was built in 1969, nice, and it stood the test of time. It sits on the side of a mountain looking right into Lake Michigan. And for the number one spot, we have How Long Can You Hang? So even though I'm not going to be jumping into any of these cliffside manners anytime soon, it's not because I haven't been invited, like I've totally been invited to them, it's simply because I have a fear of heights. But if I was going to go to one of the many homes I've been asked to visit, it would probably be this one right here. This is one of the many hanging houses located in Cuenca, Spain. They were built into the side of a cliff and some of them are 500 years old. That is insane. I know this is counterintuitive, like why would I want to visit a super old house on the side of a cliff? And instead of one of the state-of-the-art new homes that are in the side of a cliff. Well, you can't beat that track record. You last 500 years without toppling over, and I'm in. And also, all these homes are regularly refurbished. All right, everyone, that has been our list, and now it's time to get into some pet shoutouts. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day, so if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. And if it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry, I got so many of these to do. Best thing to do is just keep messaging, because I usually pick who messaged most recently, and without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First off, we have Bailey, who is a Chihuahua Poodle Shih Tzu mix. I didn't even know those things could go together, but I love it. Next, we have Luna, who is having the best nap of all time. Look at that good snooze she is having. Following Luna, we have Lucy, who looks like they are so excited. I don't know what it's for, but they are clearly very excited. After that, we have Azoro, who is a very good shaggy boy. And to close it out, we have Duncan, who is just chilling so hard. Look at that cat chill. I've never seen a cat lounge like that. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Shady Rana, and I guess get a normal home or one on the side of a cliff. I don't know. Do whatever you want. It's your life. Bye.